family as school of love and Sri Laigo. We all human beings search for happiness. Everybody. Today we will learn about the need for moral education. As you all know, during the 20th century, technology was increasing. Okay? Technology increasing. At the same time, materialistic Material needs are also increasing, such as what? Money, sex, power. So why, when technology is increasing, people are busy chasing after money, sex, and power? Because all these things here are categorized as physical desire. Desire. So that means this one that make us make our physical body happy. It's physical needs. But what about our spirituality? Spirituality? Because due to all these things, our Yang is unbalanced. Okay? When Yi overtakes Yang, it's also bad. If Yang takes over Yi, it's also unbalanced. So therefore, Yi must be 50%. Yang also must be 50%. Both sides must be 50. Understand? But as you can see during the 20th century, there's an unbalanced, unbalanced young because physical needs is already exceeding internal needs. So therefore, when your physical desire exceeds your spiritual desire, this is what happened in the society in 1960s, okay? 1960s. First, drug problem. Drug problem, sex problem, such as AIDS. AIDS. What else? Alcohol. Alcohol because without spiritual awakening, we cannot differentiate good, bad. Because what the body wants, we just follow. We don't even care about the spirit body, which is eternal. We care too much about our physical body, which is just temporary. So, and so, all no drugs. What will happen if you take too much drugs? Your central nervous system will be great. So you cannot think properly. And you know AIDS? As you know AIDS, our white blood cells are destroyed. So when white blood cells are destroyed, our body cannot fight against diseases, so we get sick easily. Alcohol is the same as drugs. I will repeat the function. So therefore, 
Therefore, it's why we need moral education to solve this problem. Okay? But at the same time, when we give education, as I always mention, yin and yang, very important. Ah, yin and yang, very important. Okay. Spiritual education. Spiritual. How do we? Spiritual education. Spiritual education consists of universal prime energy. You can see universal prime energy, which is also we can be called God. God. Everything in the world is created by God without God's education without God human beings will never go forward for long so how do we absorb God's education to absorb God's power is through meditation okay every day take at least a few minutes to meditate so why when we meditate we meditate. Okay, this is a person meditating. So when he meditates, this is the universal energy. Universal energy, okay? So the reason God created the universe, the almighty universe, which is so Big. And it is unlimited. So why do we have to go after physical world, after physical needs, which does not provide us unlimited energy? But human beings need to meditate to absorb the unlimited universal energy. Understand? So when we absorb universal energy, we forget about the negative aura negative aura goes out at the same time God God enters God's energy enters your body so there will be first Priyam first Priyam okay your which means you're already unconscious this part means you already forget about every of these desire so when you meditate longer and you concentrate another realm occurs. Listen carefully. This realm. So after you empty yourself here, empty here means you forget your physical desire, forget about your stress. Only you can enter this realm. To enter this realm because energy enters you. Okay, clear? Once God's energy enters the body, another realm, of course. Okay? So, how do we call this part? When God's energy enters you, there is when union. Union. Okay? So, God can enter your body. So, when God enters your body, you become brighter. When God enters your body, because you know God is the author of goodness, okay? Only goodness. So, when God enters your body, you know which is bad, which is good. You won't purposely want to go after negative things. You won't go after the negative things which are sex as drugs, alcohol, and sex because God only directs us towards goodness, correct? Ah. So that's why we need to keep ourselves calm, we need to meditate. At the same time, we do Tongi Budo, 
which is also part of the spiritual education. Not only talking, not only talking about the other martial arts such as Tai Chi and Qi Gong. Okay, why do we emphasize martial arts? Okay, because during martial arts. Okay, in martial arts. We don't only rely on the physical body. If you do Tongyu Buddha just on the physical side, you won't go long. You can't protect yourself. So that's why when you do Tongyu Buddha or other martial arts, why we need to pray first, we need to meditate first, so that God can guide us how to move properly. And at the same time, when you are moving, positive energy from here enters your body at the same time so your spiritual body and your physical body to turn into mudo develops so when spiritual body physical body develops you become a healthier person brighter person and a better person so go home Everybody, your homework when you go home. I don't care that meditate for how long. Just meditate at least fifteen minutes or twenty minutes, and make sure when you do martial arts, make sure you pray fast. Make sure you pray, ah, just pray, ah. Only then your body can fully grow. Spirit body, physical body can fully grow. So this is just education now. Complete. Education needed for 20 years until forever. Okay, until forever. This education will not die. Thank you, everybody.